Hello everyone, Zikor here, and today, um, since I haven't done a video on this weapon, the XRH or the now FN Scar H in a long time, and that it's going to be getting a buff soon, I thought that it might be a good idea to make a video um, using this weapon. I don't want to make a full review about the weapon, but this is sort of going to resem resemble that, so I'm going to mention some stats and like talk about how the change is going to affect the gun. So, um, first of all, the most important thing to know about the Scar H is that um, it has the highest, I think it's the assault rifle with the highest damage. It has a damage of 90, and that's um, the closest one out of the, the relevant weapons nowadays is the uh, FAL, FN FAL with 83 damage it's at 7 lower than the 90 so it has a really high damage i don't know if there's another weapon i feel like there's another weapon that has more damage to it than it but also has a really good rpm the rpm is the same as the fn file at 620 um but 60 less than the um arx at 680 um and the range is pretty high as well at 16 Minimum damage is at 50, which is higher than the Beretta, but um, lower than the FN Foul, which is at 56. And then uh, it's uh, some other important stats about it is that uh, are the DPS is actually really, really high. It's much higher than any of the current like meta weapons that most people use. Um, the damage per second of the Beretta is at 771. The damage per second of the FY103 is at 800. The FN foul is at 858. And the SCARS and DPS is at 930. So that should kind of give you an idea of, of considering how much damage it has and how high the RPM is, how quickly you'll be able to kill people with this weapon. So why is it that people don't really use this weapon often? It's It really goes back to the, to the recoil of the weapon. That's one of the really distinct features of the about this weapon, and that's probably why um, people don't use it very much. With all these alternative rifles available that have like a really low or no recoil at all, or the recoil is really easy to control, um, I don't see why anyone would um, uh, use this weapon, and it kind of makes sense. Uh, on top of that, um, guns like the Beretta have r really high um, body multipliers. Um, the body multipliers for the Beretta are at 1 for the arms and 0.9 for the legs, while it's at 0.8 for the arms and 0.7 for the legs with the XRH. So it kind of makes sense that um, people don't really use this weapon much, and that um, might have come um, as their solution to make the weapon more, um, more popular decided to decrease the uh, recoil of it. Um, so if they actually do decrease the recoil of this weapon, I think, I feel like it's gonna be one of, it could be potentially like one of the most used weapons considering how good the stats are. It's obviously box weapon, so it has pretty um, amazing stats. And another thing that I noticed about it is that it has some um, much better zoom in durations, uh, zoom in and zoom out durations that uh, the other uh, rifles that everyone uses. So uh, the zoom in and zoom out durations are at 100 milliseconds, while it's at 150 and 260 for the Beretta and 150 and 260 for the FN Foul as well. So I don't think it makes too much of a difference, but I don't know. In some situations, it might um, actually play a make a difference, to have an impact on the gunfights. Um, and my own opinion about the gun is that, well, it's actually like m one of my favorite weapons, probably top three, even maybe the favorite. Uh, I like the looks of it. I like the sound of it. Um, it's really fun to use. And it's sort of a shame that, uh, I mean, it's going to be an, a lot easier to use as a weapon. But one of the things that made it enjoyable for me to use was the fact that it actually had recoil and it kind of forced you to control your rate of fire and um, try to it, it sort of force you to um, better yourself to be more careful when you play and concentrate more so it was it wasn't like all these like sweaty try hard weapons that you can just spray at the body and get kills left and right with so I really enjoyed that aspect of it and um, it seems like with this I don't know how much the recoil is gonna be decreased but um, because it just says the, the um, 
the recoil is going to be decreased and also the spread is going to be decreased while jumping and zooming. Um, so I feel like even if it's like a slight recoil change, I feel like it might have a big impact and the weapon won't feel the same anymore. Um, so it, it might take away the special feel from it. But um, it looks like like the weapon is already really, really strong. It's just that you actually need to like control the recoil to be able to use it effectively. So if the recoil goes away, I feel like it's going to be one of the... It might actually become relevant again, um, but we'll see how it goes. And um, as a part of this series that's going to last the whole one week, <laughs> I bet, I'm going to actually make an, 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 a sort of update or follow-up video on it, on the weapon, when they do actually apply the buff. And we'll be able to compare it before and after and see how it does and how it's changed. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions, comments, suggestions, anything, or if you have anything related to this video or this sort of series or mini-series that you want to let me know, um, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. And, yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.